Welcome to Cyrus Says and Hold while the Baja starts. Just been told no budget for Baja, so no Baja started. But we've got some interesting things to talk about. We have Lokesh Verma, one of the world's top 10 tattoo artists coming on in a few seconds. So skip Pella. Before that, I'm going to just quickly give you some advice for Mumbaikers especially and those celebrating uh, Ganesh Utsav. Uh, now they have said that there's no procession that won't be allowed. Social gathering, distancing, ki baat hai, obviously, and you can't do all that. Fine. I've got a solution which is very scientific, which will allow you to enjoy your religious tradition as well as, uh, you know, not be civically irresponsible. And that is, all we need to do is scale down. Make a very small Ganpati, maybe the size of your hand, not more than that. Take a bucket with you. Huh? Take not more than two friends. They carry the bucket with water inside. You walk in the colony. Aju, Baju, Bandra, 20 meter, Aage, Piche. Stop, drop the balti and put, immerse the Ganpati in with all the fervor and fun and music and everything that you want. And then the three of you and the bucket with the Ganpati inside come back. It's a bit like Gauri, I understand, where they go back to the uh, bathroom wherever and, you know, use a, a flat, whatever you have in the flat. But this is the only way forward for this year, I'm saying, where you can capture the essence of the festival by scaling it down a little bit. And next year, we'll be back bigger and better than before. And you can go for whatever you want. This is my advice as a leading member of parliament in the in the future right now i'm not decided whether this year or next year but i will be standing in the meantime this is not my show this is lokesh verma's show let's call him in let's welcome him lokesh verma what a story lokesh is there are two parts lokesh in this story that we want to talk about firstly i apologize for talking too much so if you want to leave go to the toilet and come back you be netflix netflix dekhna hai, toh, please watch don't worry one one is of course your uh the whole tattoo business and where you are and you know that's the more artistic and technical side and the second right. part which is the inspiring side which is you say you come from very not you say you have come from humble beginnings and you've reached to the top of your your profession which is a fabulous story honestly very inspirational so let's get uh, to that uh, immediately but just before we start can we just look at that instagram page to let people know what kind of artworks you have for those who don't know anything about uh, uh, tattoos and how beautiful tattoos can be. I will use the magic of technology. By the way, Lokesh, one word has not come to your mouth, sir. Yeah, you yeah, did not give me the time <laughs> off, man. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, you say what you want, when you want. It's your show. But I'll just, uh, yeah, we're just putting your Insta up for a couple of pictures. Just to set the, yeah. wow, just look at that. Uh, can you explain, bro? Because uh, this is so intricate and technical. Okay. Dumb people like me. Haan, bole, bole, bole. So, so Joe ahead. Rogan, you know, like one of the famous podcasters like you, yeah. of course. Yeah, uh, exactly. He, 100 million dollars <laughs> each, yeah, correct. Uh, uh, so, uh. so he wanted a, this guy is a big fan of Joe Rogan and uh, the philosophy he lives by. So he wanted a Joe Rogan portrait and uh, he asked me to do something different. So I did a portrait as usual, but you know, his instead of the mic, I gave a bulb in his hand, which represents ideas. And oh, uh, nice. you know, so he's, he's talking out ideas instead of, and then it's a tattoo on his uh, on the face of Joe Rogan, I gave one of the tattoos uh, and it says evolve. So, you know, ideas make us evolve. It's basically that and then the whole uh, chakra is at the back. So, yeah. Now, I ask you one question. In case, God forbid, Joe Rogan gets implicated in child molestation scandal three mm -hmm. months from now and he becomes yeah. a dirty name and people don't want to even associate with him. No brand, no person. Then what will happen? We can cover it up definitely. We can, we can, we can put remove hair. this by make, laser. Make yeah, it Priyanka yeah, Chopra. Yeah, put lots of black <laughs> hair, change the uh, jawline. Yeah. Wow, that's that's a fantastic start. But here's another one. Again, you'll have asterisk and obliques, I think. Or you have phantom? Yeah, yeah asterisk. I love it's phantom. Asterisk and obliques, phantom and Tintin. This guy is, you know, Kinshuk is one of our very, you know, loyal clients. And he wanted, he's around 45 maybe. Wow. Uh, and Or maybe 52, I think he's 52. Something like that. He's in his 40s or 50s. He, he, has, he has a son who's studying abroad, so he, that age. And uh, he wanted all his childhood uh, comic memories. book characters to, yeah, memories to be etched on his arm. So then uh, I fantastic. designed this sleeve for him. So many different characters. All of them I'm, I grew up with and remember them fondly. Now you can see, um, okay, you'll have to take us through whichever ones you want to. I mean, viewers, please enjoy. This is Fight Club. The, yeah, what's his that actor's club. name? Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Wow. Superb. So such different different things. Strangely, uh, do people still ask for mother's name, father's name, children's name, what's up? Yeah, yeah. When I was that growing is... up, that that's still there, right? 
that is a we, main bread and butter of the studio these tattoos that you see they we don't do these these every day we write names right. every day mostly <laughs> right so so would you be suggesting it to the client or will the client be uh, suggesting it to you how does it work when it's this fancy stuff uh the fancy stuff people have to be a little crazy like us to you know go to something bigger or do something different otherwise everyone in india really wants a tattoo but just for the sake of getting a tattoo so if your friend has got a tattoo they would want something similar with red in it maybe make it a little different but not too oh. much shade you of know, variation so i Competitive want the same tattoo. tattoos huh. uh, yeah yeah so that they can say that they also have a tattoo they are also in the you know cool in crowd but <laughs> but as an artist lokesh one 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 important question where do you draw the line like abhi privates ki baat hui to kya karega sir agar kehta hai client ki mujhe yahi pe karna hai wahi pe karna hai <laughs> then uh, how where do you say boss i i am not comfortable yeah, yeah, or you yeah. or art definitely is art. you have to no 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 art is not uh, always art <laughs> <laughs> especially when it you know uh, some people are crazy i'm sure i have seen all kinds of uh, stories about people people anyway. are crazy yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah you have to draw a line especially and uh, i i play i can play very safe because i can always say that i only draw portraits and nobody gets a portrait down there so yeah well yeah the the size will keep changing uh, let's <laughs> let's go back for one thing before we start the journey of how you came here you are ranked in the top 10 tattoo oh, artists in the world that was it's not just hype yaar the it's, it's we've got it here in all the research we've done ourselves independently on three occasions it's mentioned that you're amongst the the most wanted and best uh, tattoo artists in the world which means you are like the virat kohli uh, of uh, your world No, no, it, there is absolutely nothing like that, and there is no comparison. It's the same like Joe Rogan and you. And this is our out of the ground for six. Well played, Lokesh. Uh, anchor ko disrespect kya bahut. Um, cool. No, but let me tell you, this is just a Google algorithm, and probably I was one of the first ones in India to start this, and you know, uh, so I fall on, uh, you know, everything fell at. at the right place on the right time so that's why I'm, in a, from india i am one of the guys who's recognized but actually there are so many better artists than me in the world i'm not even okay. not number modest tv <laughs> modest tv ek cheez hai fair enough we won't push it anymore i just wanted people to know who are listening you can please do your own research to find out how good he really is he's obviously not going to say it himself but now let's find out the real the, the fun story out here is you say you come from very humble not you say i'm saying all the wrong words from humble yeah. background and you've gone all over the place So just take us back yeah. to your o- o- early life. Where does this tattoo whole idea come from? Because uske pehla toh ne MBA kia. Uske baad you got a yeah. like a job, a, just a general job a guy in his twenties would get McDonald's, vegera yeah. vegera. So how mm-hmm. the hell did the journey come all the way to tattoos? You so have I to go back to a, the childhood, please. Yeah. So I was never a brilliant student, uh, uh, but somehow I remember that I used to come first in class, like every child might have come. Sir, first do. when they were first or second reverse modesty bhi ek cheez hai yaar what is this nonsense was <laughs> your top 10 in my top 10 algorithm hota google ki wajah se now you are saying i'm not a good student but i have number 1 no 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 i said i remember that somehow i used to feel that i am very good in studying because first year second class mein kabhi first year second rank aa gaya hoga and that carried on me with you know throughout life Lokesh that yeah i'm very good in studying lokesh verma i may be a old man today but i remember ki jo first aur second rankers the cyrus they, first class mein they, har koi bachcha first aata hai you know <laughs> in class 1 Hello, so i'll tell you. you when i when i was in class 10 i got 47% so i was that bad okay and then i suddenly realized and woke up that fuck uh you know life's not going to go like this so i studied a little bit hard got something in 60s in my 12th and then my sister was doing something in uh, export house you know she was she was working in with clothing so i did my mba and i also did you know some of uh, like pamphlets distributing pamphlets on the road or mcdonalds these kind of small jobs and i also went into an export house because i did my bcom because my sister did bcom i uh, i took commerce because she took commerce so i had no idea in life what to do i wanted to be a pilot but when i was in class 12 then someone told me you need to have science for that so i was like that i had no idea about life <laughs> and uh, yeah so i was about i was clueless like most other youths are and uh, then i was always into arts i was always into sketching a little bit and you know into the subcultures like alternative things like my uncle had a dj console so i used to assist his dj and i learned in fact i taught myself because that guy didn't used to teach me anything so Your uncle was, was a sick. DJ. 
not my uncle he had a console he used to rent it out for parties oh acha acha and uh, yeah so i used to assist the dj and then i saw uh, he was he was not well one day and uh, my uncle said yeah, tomorrow is the party so i was like okay give me the console for one day i'll handle it he was, he was like are you sure and i was like very confident because i had nothing to lose and i had 500 rupees to gain from that gig so uh, i was like yeah ye i'll podcast, do it ye podcast ke rates <laughs> abhi bhi hai ha same exactly the same ha <laughs> so so i was like yeah i'll do it and i was very confident like when i started tattooing i had no mentor and uh, what i thought was that uh, someone has invented this tattoo ink machine needles everything all i have to do is buy it and figure it how to assemble and use it so in 2003 when i started i had no one to teach me absolutely similar ways i started djing tattooing i was like yeah i'll do it i'll just hit and try and do it so i played a party of 200 drunk people it's not difficult in delhi to you know <laughs> yeah to it is difficult dance. yeah itna demands hote hai i remember how many scraps were to happen when because people want ye gana suna hai ye gana suna hai and before you know it somebody is punching somebody uh. yeah so uh, so i had to you know i was into hip hop that time and i used to of course i forgot to mention that you know you are one of my childhood idols Of course, like oh everyone else in my generation, I'm born in the eighties. For- <laughs> how can you? How can you forget? Yeah, yeah. Now this is yeah. very. Let's start again. Let's start again. So I was oh. born in the eighties, and I was a teenager in nineties when you and Shehnaz and all these guys were. We we saw you growing up, and so the time ke liye we were so poor that we did not have cable in our house. So MTV used to come on DD one, DD two. That yes, if yes, you remember, yes, we did. Right? We had a deal with them. Yes. So, so that was the time I saw. I was exposed to tattoos and all that first. Big shout out wow. to MTV and you guys. That's, that's so I, Nikhil. I'm not thinking tattoo. Wala Nikhil choice. select MTV select. Nikhil tattoo, was a tattoo yeah. guy, na? Uh-huh. Nikhil yeah. and most wanted Shena. But you know, Shana. not not yeah. But you know, I saw these guys, uh, these international bands with tattoos, and that's why when I was fascinated. So yeah, so I did my DJing like that for two years, and uh, in one of those parties, I saw someone with a very cool tattoo. It, 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 the guy was an expat. Not an Indian, and uh, okay. So how old were you? This point where you were in your twenties, mid twenties. I am eighty-three born. So in two thousand three, when I started, I was twenty. Yeah, when uh-huh. I first started tattooing. So say I was eighteen uh-huh. or nineteen, I was doing everything. Subay pamphlet road pe baat raha hu, dopeer ko McDonald's, evening college tha window. In three years, I attended three classes actually. First year me two class, second year me zero, and third year me I attended just you, one class. You are getting your double MBA by doing five different <laughs> jobs at the same time. Huh. Yeah, in the night I used to assist this, this DJ and then play. Later on, I started playing also, and uh, yeah, all this thing happened. And uh, I saw someone with a tattoo, and I was like, "Yes, I want this thing on me." That was how it came back to me. Tattoos. Hey, you wanted you wanted the tattoo on yourself, so you like the idea of tattoo. I wanted the tattoo, tattoo on myself. Not, not, yeah, huh. not about how was, to design tattoos. But there was this only one guy in Goa, Andy. He's a British guy who used to come and tattoo. Yeah. so i had not not so much of money to go to goa and get an expensive tattoo by him so i like i i have you know about 5 6 000 rupees saved either i can get a tattoo or i can look for a machine so someone was coming from us i got the machine from them i got the whole kit the cheap kit and uh, i was like i'll get this machine i'll get unlimited just explain sorry rogesh ye kit kya hai exactly what do you a need a tattoo kit like a machine needle basic inks five or six colors Uh, uh that's all so i was like okay. yeah in that you have money, no training at this point you have no training you're just absolutely i have not even ever seen a tattoo being made <laughs> in real <laughs> it's like it's like a doctor who's not a doctor giving birth to a baby you know like, <laughs> main try karta hai maine dekha ek baar mein kuch ho gaya ho gaya dekhne ke baad main karta hu huh. <laughs> but the good thing is i was trying it on myself so so i got this i was like uh, ek tattoo se to kaam nahi chalega i want a big sleeve and this will cost me in lakhs so i will get the machine myself and do it so this is the first tattoo i don't know if you can see it yeah 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 which i oh. did okay there's a bad lighting behind me what, what okay. it is uh, so it's just a word on design kuch likha hai there there hai about i'll just show you it says devil like that devil ha oh. correct yeah because i used to play by the name of dj devil and if you turn it around then it says angel from here i don't know like that wow. a n g e l what is an amigram मैंने 
so that is this dark i was so scared in, initially to do it i used to do it very light next week it is fade away so three times i did that and i gave the machine to my sister because i could not reach this part i cannot see like that so I, my sister was also we are crazy kids so like please do this part and she had like absolutely zero knowledge of that and she just dipped it in the needle and everything this happened that's how i started and when my friends in in fact before this i was so scared to try it on myself my father gave me his arm like do something on me don't be my father is so supportive my family has been very supportive he is an ex army guy strict in some things but otherwise he is supportive in everything so i was so scared about the needle and the pain he is like do it on me and i was more scared wow. than him every time i used to prick him i used to like is it hurting he's like just go ahead go ahead so i got i did a big demon on his arm before this actually and then this was the second one i did and uh, yeah so then my friends saw it then i did it on them i used to convince people i used to actually spend my own money and do tattoos on them because i wanted to do it so bad so i used to earn money from different places i used to spend it all in inks and needles and give them tattoos free of cost because i want to do it every day and uh, that's how it started and then their friends wanted it their friends wanted it so i started charging them a little bit it's a very organic growth and uh, yeah well the location ek baat batao you are not uh, so there's no youtube in 2003 4 not youtube no, YouTube. no google no google. google so you are doing everything from your head you're just doing it exactly. from your head and there was no trial and error huh. yeah so yeah. you're on the guys that you're meeting in friends and family you're just doing trial yeah. and error and you're improving yeah. i mean that is fantastic actually in this day and age that's the technique you use i'm think yeah. wow the lovely sound what was that this is, i can hear the machine sound Is it coming from you? Probably. No, probably <laughs> that's the AC. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, no, so so this is amazing. But did you know that you would become so successful? You are at that no, point. No. You just were enjoying it. You are a young kid and you are enjoying it. You are doing five different things anyway. Yeah, I was doing so many other things, and then um, I was doing my MBA as I told you. And so in the morning, eight to twelve used to be my classes, and then from twelve thirty or one o'clock till six seven whatever used to be my internship in this export house. and uh, in the evenings i used to come play the dj and in the weekends i used to do tattoo so four things i was doing like full time mba full time wow. job raat ko tattoo or weekends uh, raat ko djing weekends pe tattooing and also if there's a guy in, on thursday or say a random wednesday he wants to tattoo i'll just call in sick from my office i'll say aaj nahi aa raha and i used to tattoo all day so that's how it started and uh, but, but is point pe payment ki uh, uh, payment ki situation nahi tha usme it's purely uh, learning and experimenting you're not getting yeah, any money yeah, yeah. Not, no, not getting any money at, in those days. Absolutely no money. And I was getting one thousand rupees stipend from my company where I was working. One thousand a month. My petrol also did not used to, you know, suffice in this. And I thought, I thought you'll get one liter. So think of it that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's how it started. And I was not getting any money. But I was so crazy about doing tattoos that I will just call and say. Lose my office ka salary or for a day or whatever. The later on it became ten thousand my salary, but I was more interested in this, and uh, so then I started charging people a little bit. And my friend had a salon where I took a small space. He had these massage rooms kind of things. <laughs> <laughs> so I like just give me one room, and uh, it was a good salon, not those shady kinds basically. In Vasant Vihar, the... it's not it's not, it's not <laughs> where I go. It's Vasant Vihar, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, Vasant Vihar, one of the posh colonies of Delhi. It's not just outside. outside khan market is a small room <laughs> uh, uh, then so so i i i asked him to you know give me a small room and uh, we will split the tattoo percentage whatever i do so that's how we actually started commercially what do you so charge still, first uh first the first tattoo i did i did a half sleeve this big and i charged just 3000 rupees from the guy but 3000 was a big deal because my monthly salary was 1000 rupees correct oh. or even at mcdonald's they used to pay 20 rupees per hour So yeah. I used to work for whatever hours, you know, half a day, and I used to get three thousand odd rupees. So three mm. thousand in a day was a big deal for me. And I had a, I remember I had one single needle. I did not know about different needles, bigger groupings, and you know, you know, different needles to fill up. So I had just one tiny needle, like the normal needle, and I was filling all day with that. End of the day, the guy fell sick. I also fell sick of exhaustion <laughs> because I was <laughs> because we were so tired. Doing a half sleep the whole day, but it was it was like poison or something. No, 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 no. We all we we went there. We were exhausted from the day. Physically tired. Got, physically tired. Yeah, yeah. I got fever. You also, and then that's how I started. 
let's warn everybody before you start a tattoo <laughs> career remember you can get fever just by doing the tattoo out of sheer physical exhaustion it's not easy yeah. work it's also it is repetitive work actually for fingers and all it can be quite uh, draining oh, i yeah. can imagine it is and it is it is as soon yeah my thumbs and my fingers and my this part of the neck keeps aching most of the time but now I, i'm used to living like this so so it's normal okay so what happens to your parents in all this year because you're doing the mba or kaam bhi chalu hai ek sath you're doing the uh, they are the main job and the mcdonalds so they were okay they were like go for it my parents were very supportive and i always knew that you know i we have no money my mother used to teach small children tuitions she used uh-huh. to teach 10 10 in the morning 10 in the evening 2 hours each so 4 hours every day and she used mm-hmm. to charge 100 rupees a child so just to earn this 2000 extra rupees in a month she used to do that and my father is an ex army guy so he used to do very small jobs mostly security at you know some companies so we had absolutely no money i used to get 100 rupees i always tell everyone this that i knew it so badly that we don't have money that i used to get 100 rupees pocket money when i was in class 10 11 12 before that nothing and i knew it that they needed it more than me so i used to stack 12 notes of 100 rupees each end of the year 12 1200 rupees i used to give it back to them so i was always you know in i was always hustling basically in school also i did not know how to play cricket but i used to whatever money i had i used to bet on the team to earn some money so i knew that i have to make my own money that's why the class uh, i was 17 when i gave my boards exam final 12th exam so today i gave the exam and tomorrow i was pa- distributing pamphlets on the road very first day out of from the exams so i was making my own money always and when tattooing happened then uh, uh so i started charging them a little bit and uh, in the f- uh, so i was earning 10000 by that time in my mba wala job and uh, but but if I you come gave, back to the, uh, sorry yeah. the, the first first time look is you have 3000 mil gaye ek i know it was hard work huh. but 3000 yeah. ek kaam pe ek kaam pe matlab 2 yeah. 3 4 hours of work then you must right. have realized in your head ki boss isme kuch hai because you know i'm getting paid i'm enjoying it i'm good at it yeah. and you're, yeah. you know you know that something was have told you ki there's this is the journey or you're still not taking it seriously you're just doing it for fun uh, no i was i had started to take it seriously by that time and 3000 mil gaya then second one also i remember i charged 5500 from this guy i did a this with the lion or panther i remember the first few ones when i when i charged and uh, i was like fuck this is like 8 8 9000 rupees in two days so this is good work and uh, so f- first month when i started professionally in this salon uh, i made about 20 30000 rupees and my parents were like happy because from 10000 to 20 30 just by working four five days a week they were happy but they were like kon karayega tattoo you know like th- that time there was no industry called tattooing correct there were no salons so it is something new like uh, anything else was not there right now सारे कस्टमर्स जो थे वो ऑलरेडी आ गए अब यहां पे तो मार्केट इज ओवर मार्केट सैचुरेट हो गया अब हां या एग्जैक्टली दैट्स व्हाट दे थॉट मतलब टैटू अगर कोई एक करा भी लेगा तो दूसरा कौन कराएगा साल में एक बार exactly. थोड़ी कोई करा हां एक दो साल में एक बार आएगा तेरे पास क्लाइंट कौन बट बट दैट इज नॉट ट्रू एक्चुअली एक्चुअली दैट इज नॉट ट्रू ना जो टैटू क्रेजी लोग हैं दे डोंट स्टॉप डूइंग इट आई मीन दे ऑलवेज हैव 10 एंड 12 टैटूज बाय द एंड ऑफ इट एंड देन वी आर ब्लेस्ड विद दिस पॉपुलेशन ऑफ 1.3 बिलियन इन आवर कंट्री सो इवन इफ 1% ऑफ द पीपल वांट थैंक द गवर्नमेंट लोकेश वर्मा थैंक द गवर्नमेंट कि मोदी जी मोदी जी और उसके पहला भी जो काम किया है द पॉपुलेशन इज नेवर बीन अंडर कंट्रोल राइट सो uh हां सो सो आई दिस इज आई अर्न 2 3 टाइम्स बाय जस्ट वर्किंग part time when my parents were like yeah it's fine it might be a fluke you know people not might not get tattoos every day and nahi chalega ya fir dekh le kaise hoga mba mein itna paisa kharch my father's friend his, his life savings in my mba so i didn't want to you know let it go waste also so i was just juggling between these two things and then consistently for one year i showed them that you know i'm making this amount three four times over and by the end of the year i was making around 70 to 80 grand a month compared to my 10000 dollar job so i was like yeah no no wow. now this is the time to quit and uh, yeah they were also What? quite convinced that i'm showing them the consistency is not just one month so and anyways i would not have listened to her. my mother still says the same thing every day if i ask her everything anything she like tere ko jo karna hai why are you asking me because you will do eventually what Any, you want to do what so you don't want ask to do me. yeah Yeah. yeah so that's what i did and uh, consistent i think consistency and yeah it paid off before we come to the uh, the uh, hard work tattoo festival 
just yeah. tell us then, then the growth obviously uske baad became very fast and obviously the word spread and unfortunately for you the market is much bigger than you could have imagined and i also yeah. think ki yeah. it's the market of today's generation in a sense yeah so it's it's also you got that going for you ki it's a, such a popular trend it's not going anywhere from our yeah. cricketers to our film actors to our even our business community the richest people of india all the way down to your normal guy ab even the yeah. normal guy now he wants a, a tattoo a small tattoo of maybe his father's name or whatever so you got all right. that so so then uh, just tell us when did you give up everything else when did you realize ki ye mera kaam hai ye meri naukri hai ye mera destiny ye mera karma hai when did you get that feeling i think in the first initial one year only i thought about it but i used to be hesitant to tell people i'm a tattoo artist because no one will understand in that time like ye kya hota hai matlab that's what you do because people used to say that mele mein banate hain you know people it was oh, people awkward degree awkward conversation bhi hota na because you will be saying main tattoo yeah. artist hu and they'll be like tattoo they'll say the word thing yeah. then tattoo right right too yeah. i think they can't even understand yeah. the word yeah so i used to tell people that i still work in that old company for first two three years <laughs> like relatives and all because they know i don't want to just start this whole conversation again ke main ye kyun kar raha hu and all that <laughs> और आपका मैकडोनल्ड्स मैनेजर को आपने क्या बोला आई मीन पास इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्वर्सेशन सर देखो बीस रुपए से कुछ नहीं होता लाइफ में <laughs> मैं तो ऐसा करता है और बाईस हजार होता है That was a good investment when you look back. Wasn't it? Key doing it free, you created that word of mouth where people were talking yeah. about Lokesh Varma. He does tattoos, and then once you start that, you have that base for life, and you know that's where the growth happened. So maybe that was an MBA learning which you, you subconsciously had. No, I think it's nothing to do with MBA. It has to do with purely that I simply wanted to tattoo people. Anyhow, कभी tattoo नहीं मिलता था तो I used to tattoo styrofoam and all, you know. थर्मोकोलीन सो हार्ट वर्क टाटू फेस्टिवल इज एक्चुअली सो आई ट्रेवल अलॉट बेसिकली Three months to six months in a year, I try to stay in Europe or Australia, wherever, and uh, I do guest spots over there. And I saw everywhere they had, not even every country, every city in the world, every major city, has their own convention. And India did not even had a single convention. And a convention is like a trade fair, but every booth is a tattoo artist basically. So, wow. And there's equipment suppliers and uh, you know other merchants. It's a proper industry, ah, Lokesh. It the is way a, you're saying it. It's it's like yeah. almost like a paper industry, uh, you know, one of the big industries of the world, a trade fair. Yeah, yeah. So there, like Frankfurt Convention, for example, has 750 booths, 750 wow. artists. Show, you know, they're showcasing their work. It's like up, down, everywhere, near the toilets. Also, they have booths everywhere. They have booths of you know people tattooing, and. Uh, Say in U in US every week every weekend there is a convention in one of the other states. But in India there was not even a single convention. So I thought of starting something like that in India. And one of my good friends from Mumbai, Samir Patangi, uh, both of us were talking about this and uh, since a long time. And then we like finally this year we have to do it. So 2015 we started, and first year we got 100 odd artists, 50 from India and 50 from Europe and all these other people. you know destinations where i used to travel to i just approached the same guys whom i knew personally and they came and they they uh, they liked it very much especially the indian culture and you know it's different for them so they when they went back they spread the word of our second year we did 150 artists so that's how it started to grow grow up and uh, people also for people in like general common people it was something very new like tattoo or right because see no one like a man who's working in an office every day he does not have time to go to a tattoo studio and people are also apprehensive to go to a tattoo studio but uh, uh, when there's a convention like this it's like a fest so you know there's music happening there's food and there's tattoo tattooing going on so people are like chal chal ke dekhte hai kya hai and we first few years we made the entry also free so people just walked in and they saw other people getting tattooed so they become more comfortable with the idea of tattoos ke ha ye kuch karwa raha hai to you know we have people who are carrying their small babies with them like you know the 
the father is holding the child and the uh, mother is getting the baby's name or portrait done so now we have very common everyday people like this who have nothing to do with tattoos but they walk in and they become so my idea behind this whole convention was first of all to put the art which is coming out of india to put this on the world map because we have international artists also coming with a lot of bigger communities like world tattoo events and all they cover our festival and second thing was to educate people that tattoo banane se aapko hiv nahi hota ya hepatitis nahi hota because sabse pehla logo ko yahi hota hai ki you know mm-hmm. do we get aids or cancer or xyz from uh, so no something like this does not happen if you go to a good studio which uses the right needles everything new so my thing was to educate people so that's why we opened the gates for public and people come and see and they, when they see other people getting tattooed they become very comfortable and they then they also want one so that's how it started and since the last one year last year we did not do it this year also it looks difficult because of the pandemic pandemic but it was going very well but in india you got another whole market now see we have religious tattoos there's the world won't have yeah. so much religion uh, involved we have uh, yeah. from the you know shlokas or, or the uh, you know kahavats yeah. and all that that come into it that it can be used yeah. so you i mean yeah. there's no end i'm just thinking of what can be used in india because we are so culturally rich in that sense uh, yeah, that yeah. Half so of the tattoos more... that we do are religious tattoos every month yeah and, and your your market just gets bigger and bigger i, I don't see it ever getting smaller i know pandemic mein thoda locha ho gaya here and there because yeah, of the yeah. commuting issues and all that but uh, yeah. by and large i mean it's just going to get bigger so let's say today you are worth what 5000 crores <laughs> the Tell market 10000 not me uh, <laughs> i don't you know are the market saw... lokesh verma you are the market no, no, no. you are creating the market uh, uh i by some estimates it says the worldwide market is 20 billion or above Wow. US dollars yeah wow but but a lot of this market is underground so you do, really don't know the estimates fair enough but uh, uh, just to understand what do your family feel about it now i mean as you grew well, i mean mm. i mean so it's a, it's a fabulous story it's like a fairy tale yaar that a young boy not from very uh, wealthy background you know struggling to make ends meet doing this that and the other suddenly find something which he's good at and is is enjoying and then you cut a few years later he's top of the profession he's doing really well uh i mean how do you explain it also this there is a bit of luck factor also involved that you found tattooing and that you were good at it of course um uh, what do they feel now they of course feel very good we are living in a good house you know we never had a house by that time so uh yeah i bought five six houses by till uh, five six <laughs> houses meri maa ki shaadi what the hell is going on <laughs> because i never had a house so i always There's invest a moral in, in this story <laughs> lokesh verma please tell the kids the truth don't waste your time with mba and mba and mcdonald jobs find some art form which is going to be the next future thing and that's how you become fantastic and rich five six houses so, my god Oops. sorry i did not want to brag but uh, this is i'm just telling you financially it is very good it see if you're good <laughs> in anything it will pay off eventually True. so uh, <laughs> uh yeah so i told you about the houses because we never had a house good house it doesn't sound so like you're I, bragging it, it just sounds like you're just talking matter of factly don't worry uh so of so, course you should be proud you gave your parents a lovely house that you were able to do this yeah. in your own lifetime most people yeah. uh, struggle you know by the way all the other houses all the other houses are still not gone because they are in noida and faridabad investments and the builder uh. has run away with the money three of them oh wow, exactly <laughs> Let, let's 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 so explain the investments so, yeah uh, yeah and you're hoping so, 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 ki, Huh. Yeah, first investment I made in 2007. By the way, I thought I'll marry my wife when only the builder said 2010 you'll get your house. So I like I will only marry her when I get this house because where I used to stay was a very unauthorized or kind of colony and you know like in Bombay in Bombay you have Charles. Huh. Something like that. Really? And uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. You've come from what do you call the like a chawl chawl culture to uh, a, like a big house. That's fabulous. Yeah. What a story. So when did when did you marry your wife then? So 2010, I was supposed to get that house, and it's 2020, and now still not have got the house. <laughs> <laughs> so what I yeah. did was I rented a better place. Huh. I got out of from from that locality and uh, I, uh, rented a house, and then we moved. and then later after few years i bought a house and then another house uh, near my studio in gk so uh, <laughs> and then five houses are pending because one builder has disappeared uh, one the uh, market has stopped in the middle but everything will happen slowly okay so, listen let's take a break lokesh yeah. uh, sorry go on go yeah. on say 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 no 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 so Trish. from the end of the story conclusion of this one is uh, the house my parents are happy because they only see success as 
building wealth or houses, you know, investments and all. So for them, they don't care if I'm satisfied by doing my work or not. It, how well am I doing financially is the question. So uh, for them right now, it's it, they're, they're happy. Definitely. Yeah. And I think those 100, 100 rupees you used to save for them, they can now give it back to you. Finally, you can give it back to you. You have a lot of money. No, it's a lovely story. Beautiful story. Honestly, and I'm sure your parents and your supporters and family are, friends are all so proud of you. We'll take a quick break and we bring Mr. Silvery on, who's a huge tattoo fan. My producer, Antarik, also known as Silvery. Uh, Silvery, I think he's more into... Uh, you're on mute, bro. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Antarik. So, uh, before we, I want to go and see some more of his artworks and then we'll do the MAs. But is yes, there any question you want to ask, Lokesh? Uh, we can, uh, uh, jo pricing ki options hai na, I think we will get a discount for you. We'll, uh, if you say the right thing. Uh, Lokesh uh, no, is smiling. Like, uh, huh? So, I, I do want to ask, uh, is, is, so in uh, a lot of movies, we see that people go like half drunk to go get tattoos. Mm, yeah. Is that like a thing? Are they like super mm -hmm. drunk when they come to you? No, no, uh, we don't even entertain those people. I ah, actually am very strict when okay. it comes to tattooing. I shut them, you know, hangover. Them out, move out. In hangovers, because there's a famous scene. It, no? it happens in movies, yeah, but you know, drunk people are very, very annoying anyway. And don't yeah, so uh, oh, that's a hilarious story, you know, Lokesh. They won't remember. <laughs> Yeah. Or they'll think they said yeah. something else. I mean, and hilarious. they keep on moving and all. They don't sit, sit. They cannot sit still. And in tattooing, the first requirement is you need to sit still. So I, we don't tattoo drunk people. I usually, usually turn them back and we don't do that. Absolutely. Like, do have people ever come back like, hey, this is not what I asked for, like the next day or something, and then like pick the fight or something like that? Uh, that yeah, not the next day, but within a week, people see when this, uh, you know, people are going through this, what do you call this? Terminal relationship. Or no, no. Okay. They're, they're, they're relationships where it's, you know, they're having a lot of fight and they want to make up for it or something. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's very high and low suddenly. And in that moment, a lot of people get tattoos done to show like, fuck, no, no I'll stay with this girl only right now, this guy. Nice. And within a week, they have come back to get the tattoo out of, no, no, no. It's like, you know, that flame at the end of, end of the candle, which goes very high suddenly and then. So yeah, that time they get the tattoo done and then within a week, within a week, the tattoo is not even scabbed or healed completely. It's still, you know, like redness is still there and they're like... Oh, chali! Oh, oh, chali! <laughs> <laughs> so this happens quite a lot. Hey, you know, uh, I think you... it makes sense. You just have mom or dad's name. You're the only safe one, honestly. Or your children, of course, when you become a father. But otherwise, anything yeah. else is a, is a lottery here. Even your favorite <laughs> cricketer or sportsman or whatever, anything can go wrong in the middle. Uh, sorry, uh, Silvery. Oh, do you like, uh, like, have you ever, has someone ever come out, come to your uh, studio and been like, hey man, I need this tattoo? And you've been like, dude, that's so cringy. I don't want to do this. Or like, have to, have you ever had to talk a person out of getting a tattoo? Has that ever happened? As in, you didn't want to um, do it? Sorry, Lokesh, I think. Uh, Lokesh is back. He's back. He's back. He's back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, mana kiya kabhi? I usually tell yeah, them. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, I always suggest them, but I don't impose my choice on them because ultimately they want it. I tell them that there can be better options like this. This has been overdone. Everyone has this. And uh, yeah, a lot of people want the same tattoos, but I always tell them, what are you going to do with the thousand same what tattoos? About, like, have you, you ever got an army or something? Lokesh, what about like hate ka tattoo, like Nazi symbol, uh, what is swastika or, you know, I hate Pakistan or something, I don't know, somebody with some hate issues, would you do that? Has anything like that been asked of you? Nazi tattoos, Nazi tattoos, people used to get a lot of them before because they did not know that this is a Nazi symbol. They thought Indian swastika is here. That's why. Oh, but then, yeah. I, <laughs> it is taken huh. from swastika. Yes, huh. yeah. It is that, but now, and they used to get that eagle and all, no? so with the spreaded wings, with ah, the swastika. That but is Nazi. Yeah, wings <laughs> <symbol. laughs> yeah. 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 This is good. This is also an eagle. But then later, one of my clients went to Germany and he got so much of hate for it. He had to, it was in his, on his back. <laughs> and he had to cover oh, it up God. right from the airport. First thing he oh, came God. back, he was like, just get this tattoo covered. Because he got Only it. Only a desi. Thinking, listen. Fuck, what a yeah. story. Only a desi yeah. can do this. He's innocent. <laughs> the main part is he's innocent. He has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. how can, I mean, yeah. The guy, I mean, it's the like world went to war. Movie. 
30 million people die and fir bhi usko kuch pata nahi wo govinda movie It's like a Govinda movie. Wo gaon se aake aise karake chala gaya. Baad mein usko pata chalta hai. To khatam hai. Country bumpkin. Country <laughs> bumpkin. Yeah. Wow. What a story. So I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Silvi. Yes. Uh, uh, you want to see some more of his? Uh, yeah. So let's see a couple yeah, more. Yeah, Once yeah. you start the aim, is it be tough to go back there? Yeah. Absolutely. So let's let. Uh, Lokesh, which are the ones that you're very proud of or very embarrassed by? Let's see a couple of those. If you can I'm remember. Embarrassed ones I've not sent you. <laughs> not embarrassed about the art, but like you know, it went wrong in in your mind. No, uh, no, uh, there is actually nothing like this, that. I like everything that, I do, and then Hannibal, Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. But why yeah. would anyone want favorites. that, yar? This is mother. No, Teresa. this guy has a this guy has a whole super uh, sorry super villain sleeve. You know, he's getting so Bill the Butcher from Gangs of New York. This guy, so he's oh getting God. a lot of villains. That's why. This one is one of my favorites. If you go down a little bit, the sadhu that you see on the right, this sadhu above this, above this, up, 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 above, oh. above, boy, the two-man shot. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, this one. This is one of oh. my favorites, actually. Why has he got that? There's some. Mis- Why has he got that? Because uh, it's from his. Uh, they come from some uh, tribe. Which okay. belongs to the same sadhus, I think. This guy. Okay, so that's like identity mark of having that face on his shoulder, arm. Yeah. Also, also he did not want to get a shiva shiva. So this is like something similar. Compromise. Me it's not religious, no. Okay, fair enough. This one's great. Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's why. Yeah, I did this in US. I was invited to uh, Salon Studios in California to do this piece, and they shot wow. this whole video and interviewed me. So. How do you get them to look this realistic? Uh, I think if you go to the previous fantastic. picture, that, I think if you go to the previous picture, that that's a video. The, the, the one previous, just before that. No, no, no. Oh, not as that. okay, okay. This one? Oh, okay. Yeah, this one is the video. You can see a close-up shot of this. Because a lot of people tell me that it looks like Photoshop, so I put a video to you know make sure that. Wow. They are convinced. How do I? Uh, yeah, it's just practice. Nothing else. No one can teach you this. In fact, I learned to draw portraits by doing tattoos rather than the other way. I could draw a little wow. bit always, but I never drew a portrait. I did my first portrait as a tattoo, and then I became better in drawing portraits on paper just by doing so many tattoos. So first and foremost, Silvery, he is obviously super talented. Okay, because yeah, course, this course. is not a. I mean, that's firstly that's the real truth. Second thing, what he has done will not be done ever before uh, again in the history of the world. Okay, now they will go through the YouTube classes, or there will be mentors and guides, and I'm sure. So he'll be the last guy who self-taught to such an extent that he literally just experimented on people. Lokesh, I'm a, I'm a right, right? I mean, you just learned by no gods drawing. Yeah, no gods, no masters, definitely. Yeah, no gods, no masters. No guruji for you uh, at the moment. Then I, I think it is. If you learn something on your own, then you develop your own style. Otherwise, if someone is teaching you, you will develop their style. So I think that helps me a lot. मेरी बीवी नहीं है अभी क्विकली शो मी द नेकेड वंस दैट दे आर नॉट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम दे गो सर दे गो दे गो दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट पीसेस दिस इज सो इंटरेस्टिंग मैन टॉक अबाउट टाइमिंग मैन शिट या बट दैट्स जीसस और समथिंग आई कैन मेक आउट फ्रॉम हियर इट्स इट्स द स्कल्पचर जीसस एंड मैरी द फेमस स्कल्पचर पिएटा बाय माइकल एंजेलो आई क्लिक दिस पिक्चर माय सेल्फ इन द सिस्टीन चैपल And uh, wow. then I tattooed it. Yeah. So, how, Lokesh, when you were young, you must have been good at art, yar. This can't be. I mean, come on, you must have been. I was, I was good at art, yes. But I, as every teenager, fourteen, fifteen years ke baad, I left it completely, and you know, went into smoking and drinking and everything, wow. college days. But huh. uh, and never drew. Smoking and drinking is also art. Malin Brando gaya yeah. Deadpool, Deadpool. <laughs> uh, fantastic, really. What do you have a count? Any idea ki kitna total? Kuch vague ballpark figure bhi. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah. Wow. I was thinking about it the other day. Now, what's what's the longest there? you've taken to First, to make one tattoo? Longest, like the back piece that you saw, that is sixty hours, but that is over number of sessions. Three four days. Huh. Oh. Oh, yeah, and uh, so I when I started and you know when the business started. 
taking up i used to do 3 to 5 tattoos every day and first 5 years i did that every day without taking a single break that means no saturdays or sundays every day 1800 days in a in a stretch even Second wow. October, twenty-six January. I used to just shut the half down the and still tattoo. Okay, I will have you arrested. <laughs> I'm calling the police right now. You cannot work on those sacred days in India. Oh. Yeah, I used to just tattoo from home or something, but I'll just tattoo every day. And uh, so, three to five tattoos every day into eighteen hundred days itself makes it six, seven thousand tattoos. Actually, that's how I counted. And this is just mm-hmm. the first five years. Now I'm eighteen years in. So now I do two thousand three is when I started, and. Uh, Now I I I do a tattoo a week, not more than that, since the last three four years. But initially I worked like my ass off. One day I had fever 104, and 104 was when I was feeling a little better and went to the doctor. Before that I was lying down on the floor of the studio. That to that day also half day I was working. So that's why I know first five years absolutely no holidays. I grind it. I will just do Horrible. everything, even if I like it or not. I want to do tattoos. That's how. That's how crazy I was about it. And I think if but you're crazy you, about something, then only you can now, make it. But now you have people working under you. Yeah, we have a team of 18 artists now. I have three ah. studios. So personally, you don't need to up. do. I mean, but then is it a personal thing also? Ki the famous Lokesh Verma, I want his tattoo, not just his people's cut tattoo who's trained by him. Isn't there a difference? Yeah, a lot that? of people. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people are adamant like that. They want. a tattoo from me only so then i give them like next month or whenever i have time but i don't i try to do not more more than one or two tattoos a week because so star ban gaya silvery star system bhi hai he doesn't have to he just tells them take a number stand in the line boss koi aayega raju tattoo and it's done <laughs> what a story fabulous bhai you won't tell us how much money you want so we'll google it but uh, five six <laughs> houses come se come two three houses are pending and that's because typical north indian issues where you know the builder disappears so you are you have to go look for two or three to get one am i right lokesh yeah, that's the match absolutely <laughs> right yeah first three i did not get so the fourth one <laughs> where i'm living right now i saw that this has been built like then the, i the my, my three, real estate advice will be because they always are, buy uh, don't buy under construction houses because you will yeah. never get them chances are yeah i mean now sorry tyrus uh, you're saying something No, no. I'm just saying that that's a lovely story, but it's so true. We're laughing about it, but some people really suffer because all the uh, you know savings, one uh, building or one flat, me dalke dalke. Not some I mean, people, a lot of people. A lot I of people don't have one of them. Yeah. Just yeah. Uh, I can afford another house now because I know people who are paying rent, who are paying the EMIs they have taken from the bank. They have paid hundred percent of the amount of the house and still not got and it. And they are paying yeah. and they still not got it. They are paying EMI. They are paying interest on that EMI and they are paying the rent where they are living and they have absolutely nothing. So really sad. And it's not complete. This. Still not complete. Yeah, well, what they, to do? Yeah, the build. Most of the builders are in jail. These guys. They have taken the money. They spent few years in jail and they come come out. They don't have to pay anything. Rest- and they restart. एक और yeah. एक और कैम कर देता न्यू नेम बाद या एग्जैक्टली दैट्स व्हाई यू शुड बिल्ड विद हिरन अंदानी सिल्वरी इज आर हिरन अंदानी कॉम्प्लेक्स इन मुंबई इट्स अ वेरी क्लीन रिकॉर्ड राइट सिल्वरी या या एग्जैक्टली यू यू डोंट वांट टू एंडोर्स द ब्रांड आई मीन इट्स फाइन आई डोंट सी हिरन अंदानी अब तक तो है यू डोंट सी हिरन अंदानी बट यू स्टे ऑल अराउंड इट ओके लेट्स गेट टू द एम इज या शॉप एब्सोल्युटली Okay. All right, Amy is the first one comes in from Feral Mind. Uh, he or she says, "Lokesh, your Instagram page is amazing. As a tattoo artist, you must really have had amazing. to cover other people's mistakes all the time. What is the worst tattoo you ever had to fix, and how did you do it?" Uh, worst tattoos are mostly the names that you have to cover up and portraits. Mm. So yeah, I had to fix a portrait, and difficult to you know change a face to another one. So we turned it into Skeletor. That's very easy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you do big two black blocks. Which How much must he have hated mess. the girl or the girl hated the guy? Keep. Which be karo Skeletor be banao. Usme koi tension nahi. I just want Sheila to be taken off my shoulder. <laughs> exactly. So that was the easiest thing we could do, or difficult, most difficult thing. But still, we were able to hide that girl's face. Wow. And yeah. this is at the is initial it, days. Yeah. Is it customary to tip the artist? Just a waiter could tip no. the day or serve for service. Generally abroad also, or is it something that you don't do? He's an artist. In India, it's not. Abroad, you get a lot of tips. Not in Europe, US, you get a lot of tips. 
इंडिया में भी टेलिंग कंसेशन दे दो ना भाई मैं संडी पे आ गया ना ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट और एक कॉल नेक्स्ट वन कम्स इन फ्रॉम रोहन जेकब ही सेज लोकेश कुड यू प्लीज टेल अस अ सेलिब्रिटी हु स्टैट्स यू लाइक और हु स्टैट्स यू रियली लाइक आई पर्सनली लव बेकम स्टैट्यूज आल्सो डू यू चार्ज बेस्ड ऑन द साइज ऑफ द टैटू और बाय द आर यू डोंट टू आंसर द लास्ट पार्ट इफ यू वांट टू मोर या आई I also, you know, most of the celebrities have shitty tattoos. Most of them, they don't have good tattoos. I don't know what happens to all the money that they have. But when it comes to tattoos, celebrities have the worst <laughs> tattoos. But Beckham is one of the Sir Louis Malloy has done his tattoos, very great artist. So Beckham's sleeve is one, actually I was going to say that his sleeve is a legit sleeve. Otherwise, Justin Bieber has some sh- few patchy kind of tattoos. But Hardik Pandya, yeah. वो दोनों हाथ पे है पीठ पे है आई थिंक मे बी लोअर बॉडी आल्सो हु नोस ही गॉट लॉट्स ऑफ टैटूज आई हैव नॉट सी या या सम ऑफ देम आर नॉट सो गुड सम ऑफ देम द रीसेंट वंस आर गुड बट या मोस्ट ऑफ देम दे जस्ट गेट इट यू नो दे डोंट रिसर्च प्रॉपर्ली आई थिंक सो इंडियन इंडियन सेलिब्रिटी देखम आई वुड आल्सो से इंडियन सेलिब्रिटी दैट यू लाइक इज देयर एनीवन इंडियन सेलिब्रिटी इंडियन सेलिब्रिटी विराट कोहली ओनली हैज टैटूज एंड हिज टैटूज आर आल्सो वेरी ओल्ड एंड वी आर नॉट सो गुड इंग्लैंड best batsman in the world and lucas has dismissed him are you kuch pata nahi he doesn't understand tattoos <laughs> <laughs> next next all right uh, vaishak suresh asks uh, who are a few celebrities that you have inked uh, in cricket st- i have inked ishan sharma umesh yadav Sh- shikhar dhawan wow um, remo dis so, yeah remo disuza from bollywood director. and uh-huh. Ish- yeah isha gupta tapsi pannu swara bhaskar wow What what, what a Swara Bhaskar Delhi put on! I would love to. Know. Uh, Is it freedom? She had a, you know, no. <laughs> here she, on the near, near the collarbone, she got a circular tattoo like a sun or something. This is pre-freedom days, like before two thousand fourteen. Obvious conversation, yeah. Artistic conversation, yeah. By political, nahi hai. And uh, Tapsi, Tapsi. <laughs> Tapsi was in school or college when she came to me. She was she was Not a famous. dancer at that time. No, not famous. She was she was struggling that those days, and she got her own name, T A P, and then C. That's the I don't know why. Save <laughs> <Same> money. One <laughs> <laughs> letter yeah. come for twenty percent off. Yeah. And you think she, she got, still has she it? Got, Is it still there? I did not even remember about that tattoo. I was talking to Tapsi few days back, few months back, in fact. And I was like, "How is the tattoo I did on your leg? It's a free soul tattoo. It's a girl dancing. You know, it's a, just a line art of a girl dancing." She's like you did three or two for me. I don't still remember. I like which was the other one I did for you. She's like you wrote my name Tapsi also. I like okay, yeah. So yeah, she she remembers and she still has has. That so tattoo. Tapsi does not need Aadhar card. Government, please to note she has the name on the shoulder. No need for any Aadhar card ID. I think that's a great ace. Yeah, it's really one of the good idea. We all tattoo our names so the when they stop us driving or ID. Yeah. Hey, Lika, na. <laughs> you like you know you wear you know you have it. to go to parties <laughs> you, you go to huh. parties and you put on a name tag right here yeah. uh, you know you just don't you put cut a cut a hole in your shirt you know you know tattooed your name on this covid passport thing which is happening yeah. across yeah. international borders so Only you get a qr the... code yeah, yeah someone yeah. has got a q someone has got this that qr code tattooed on themselves it makes sense so bro they, they it makes great it. sense It makes great sense. Just scan that and see yeah. and see my vaccination certificate. That's my passport. Yeah. It's a code. Someone I mean, has that's done all that. You need. I think it's a smart idea. But I I think yeah. I'm going to get one which says "Mera Bap Chor Hai." Of course, references from the 80s again. Uh, just just to irritate people. <laughs> Thinking, what is it, Silvery? What would you have tattoo? Uh, man, I've been very interested in this sound wave uh, audible tattoos. Could you please yeah. explain what these are? so they are also like qr code very unique every sound wave is unique because you know no two sound waves can be diff- same mm-hmm. so yeah it's that unique impression that we take and uh, put it in an app and also the sound first you know you take the sound bite it can be 5 seconds to 30 seconds long and uh, 
the app converts it into a sound wave, which is like the graphic bar. Then you get the tattooed, and when you scan it, it'll play the same sound, like how the QR code wow. will take you to a link. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So it's very simple, uh, so like, but what, what, brilliant idea. Yeah. yeah but what kind of things do? Yeah. What kind of things do people get? Like I love you, or like something like that, or people get their wives sound sound bite, or you know, uh -huh. mother sound bite. Some someone has got their dog's sound bite also. Wow, wow. Nice. <laughs> very cool. Nice. That sounds sweet. Very okay, cool. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, Monjulika asks, Cyrus, uh, do you think ever since Indian cricketers have been getting inked, they've been performing well in international cricket? <laughs> But it's uh, not just Indian cricketers, no. This trend is uh, worldwide cricket, sports people. I mean, NBA. Yeah. I've seen so many of these guys with it and all that. So English, English. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Ben Stokes. I've seen with lots of tattoos. A lot of the English guys, West Indian guys have it. Uh, lots. Of, I think Aussies. I'm not so sure, but definitely the other teams. They definitely have it. So, uh, do you think tattoos help your self confidence? I mean, there's a serious question in a, in a silly question. Which is, uh, I think so. A person starts feeling more, you know, self esteem goes up, thoda both. Because you can't get that tattoo with... without confidence, firstly. I mean, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You need to be sure about it. And uh, once you get it, you are actually per making the identity of yourself more permanent. You're putting that belief on your skin, which people can see. So you'll definitely become more. Not this, I'm not trying to sell anything, but yeah, definitely you need. You become more confident and you can express yourself better. You're not that so shy Mon person. Monjulika's point is actually quite well made because it's also like this new India, uh, Indian uh, team symbolic of, you know, the slightly aggressive in a positive way India, which they are. And are not afraid to, you know, put the name on their shoulder or whatever, which which also comes into the cricket or the performance in the sense that... I think it is the biggest is form of expressing yourself with a belief permanently, so... Definitely no, it's my, if I may interrupt, it, that is if you go into an open uh, top like Jeep and then you urinate from there. I've done that. <laughs> it's a great way to express yourself. At 80-90 miles per hour, <laughs> kabhi -kabhi, if the wind is blowing towards you, the pee hits you only. <laughs> so you have to be careful of that. So always do the right. pee test, Silvery. First pee for one second and see the direction. Kya hai, and then pee. <laughs> All right. Or you can use water initially. You can, oh, that's true. Why waste your pee? <laughs> <laughs> Smart man. Next. All right. Next one comes in from Kashan Shetty. He says, Hi, Lokesh. Is there a body part which you refuse to tattoo? And what I'm has asking. been the strangest body location you ever had to work on? Uh, strangest body location. I refuse to tattoo actually all the private areas. So I thankfully did not have to. Uh, tattoo any of those locations and also as I told you before my work is mostly portrait so people get portraits on a very flat area like the bicep or the back or the thigh so so yeah but yeah I refuse but to tattoo on these kind of areas in private just parts. to clarify you refuse the private parts of both genders yeah only for the men but I was thinking sometimes you know for the females it may not be so hard females usually don't ask for it actually Damn it, and yaar! What kind of industry is this, <laughs> yaar? I'm an agent. I don't like this. And if some drunk guy is asking for it, because there are a lot of drunk guys who call the studio and they want, yeah. uh, you know, a tattoo on whatever this area, growing area, by a female artist, and they think their wish will be fulfilled. Oh. Wow! <laughs> so That's we just blocked them. That's a great thought, yaar. Man, chalo, main ye try karta hai. Then you must get the ugliest, oldest. The most hairy woman you can find. Maybe a man with long hair. And say, sir, please, meet Shanti. Oh, God. Silvery, would you ever do it when you're drunk? Have you ever had this conversation with the guys? I don't know, man. Uh, I, like, so sometimes, like, you are tempted. Like, should I just get a tattoo? You know, you just like, one day you get up, yeah, tattoo kare gaya. But then you're like, man, oh, also, I don't peer know pressure how long I like it. Peer pressure, panche log, ek saad. Daru there was some, somebody, like, somebody says that, ki, let's all go. Yeah, when I was younger, there was some peer pressure and like, uh, I think two of my friends were going to go get tattoos. They were like, hey, dude, you should also get one. This like, this, this is really cool. And I really wanted a dragon because I'm really into dragons. Uh, but then I was like, no, man, I'm sure it'll, I, I won't like it. I, I'll, I'll feel it's lame after like a month or something. So I don't want this. I don't want to do this. Uh, it's a lot of commitment. It's a lot of commitment. Yeah. But the I sound wave it... thing does, does sound very interesting. So that, uh, let's see, maybe something. Yeah. Chalo, let's do one more. Lokesh, how many tattoos do you have? Uh, I don't know if Silas already I have, uh, I have a lot of them. 
this whole sleeve i count as one yeah <laughs> okay. so that's one and then uh, i only have on my sleeve i only have this one this part left everything else is tattooed uh, inner arm and the outer arm and i have few on my legs i have one on my chest here i have to finish my chest but because of lockdown i'm not able to travel from the artist i wanted from and uh, yeah and then my back is next once i finish my chest part so quite what a lot of real estate say? left yeah acha your wife is okay and <laughs> this real estate you're getting you're going to wait but is your wife okay with all the tattoos my wife yeah she has to be okay i always tell her like you know you do whatever you want and i i will never say anything to you so she understands me and you don't say anything to me although she does not want tattoos on my chest because she does not want to see it all the time i have got a demonic goat here uh, done by robert harad <laughs> this one of the best artists in the world and uh, wow. another s- similar thing is coming here but, so she is like uh, if you cannot get it but she knows that i'll get it done so by the way i got her portrait done when i was we were not married uh, this was 2008 uh-huh. singapore convention she was studying in australia i got her portrait in singapore because there was no portrait artist in india that time bhai jaan chansi chansi ha ha yeah 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 i don't like, know if you can see the you can see this one coming up <laughs> oh okay can you see this one yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. correct i'm a little hairy so it's not very clear but so i got this in singapore and i did not tell her that i'm coming to australia her brother had sent me the papers and all for visa before so i did, it was a surprise for her her brother picked me up and uh, you know there's a system where you can call from the phone and the number won't show in australia it's like that so i called her from the airport she like where are you have you reached india I'm like yeah, i have reached india now my phone was off whatever whatever and uh, i'm going home now and after a few minutes i rang the doorbell in australia and this tattoo was very freshly done the day before and then i surprised her with the tattoo so one romantic story well lovely story <laughs> but i was thinking this is a, this is like a real punt in uh, gambling where if once you put the the lover of your life the love of your life ka picture yeah. without asking yeah. then either she yeah. is going to be completely madly in love with you thinking yeah. what, what kind of guy is this i mean what a beautiful gesture or she is going to panic because you know it's too yeah. much now i'm not ready for that intensity so i must say that's a very romantic story because you've taken a chance because no one can actually know for sure you know when yeah. you do something like that no matter what you say you never know for sure till you actually i mean i that's that's very admirable here but i was and what, 20, what was the exact reaction time. <laughs> oh she, she was more surprised uh, about me Steve. being there in australia yeah, in melbourne yeah, yeah. yeah and then the tattoo was like a double whammy so she was like what she could not process it for some time why and then her parents were also there so she did not know how to react she was like oh, okay you should have quickly put mom and dad on the other shoulder <laughs> mommy daddy you're like <laughs> Just remember, it was such a big thing when Saif Ali Khan got a tattoo of Karina's name on his hand. Right, it was like, right, oh my yeah. god! Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, Just, uh, Lokesh did it. Like Lokesh did it. Yeah, Lokesh did it. Yeah, he broke up Shahid and Karina. Damn it, Lokesh! <laughs> Lokesh, yeah. After, after Saif Ali Khan got that tattoo, everyone in India wanted Sunita in Hindi and English. Yes. You know? whatever yes. xyz names <laughs> <laughs> no but there is some dumb, there is some dumb guys who put sunita you know not realizing that the girlfriend's name is like shine <laughs> <laughs> Man, no i am just giving example sunita, half hindi yeah. half english we did so many tattoos like that after that but yeah. safely khan got this everyone wants half hindi half english name so hmm. yeah what to do wow <laughs> but it's a fun life here lokesh yeah. I mean, you meet interesting people. Some of them are irritating, I'm sure, but you know, you can never get bored. <laughs> you're challenging yourself as an artist, and you're meeting different people all the time. You're traveling the world, and you start. You basically started in industry on your own here in India with the festival and the encouragement to others, etc., etc. Yeah. So, do you realize what you have done? Have you ever thought, "Ki boss, I mean, not just monetary success. I mean, you've done much more than that. You've started a whole movement. So, do you do you, do you think about that ever?" i don't take it so seriously because i think there are other people also at the same time who were starting like i told you my friend samir from bombay and then few other guys no 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 we have put you on top the our podcast is decided that this yeah. lokesh verma everybody is below that <laughs> only so, if he comes sorry. on only if he comes on then he has a chance to redeem himself otherwise sorry was so fir bhi wo second so, number yeah, gadget the first number to go ho gaya abhi ha huh. yeah ho gaya sorry sorry don't no, no. i i think uh, i've i've I just did what I was interested in, and it everything just started snowballing on its own. So, 
so yeah, I'm, I'm happy about it and i'm more happy about you know doing the convention rather than earning money you know because i want to really put you know like india the perception of india ke yahan pe tattoos nahi hote and hygienic and all that i want to just you know destroy all that and educate people and internationally put our name like indian people's name on the list so i'm happy about what i'm doing definitely so Sometimes so wait, i smile you, think and smile <laughs> as you finish just remember his last line huh? ki i just did what i was interested in and then it snowballed and you know took off on its own this works yeah. for everyone except politicians when they say that <laughs> you have to be a little worried i just yeah. know what i'm interested in and it will snowball with <laughs> No, but but is, but we, end of the day, Cyrus, it's a uh, it's like a job. If you do something every day, I believe, then you get bored. I'm sure you know you also meeting a lot of interesting people. Sometimes it's annoying also. So you need that break and that time off. Yeah, I too don't like the smell of people here. Uh, that's why I always try to keep animals with me to overcome yeah. the smell. Oh, well, a lag issue. Hai. We'll discuss it later. Now you don't drink, I don't drink. So you know to understand humanity without some substances <laughs> is very difficult. So let's turn to the master, Silvery. Ah, batao. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is... If I one last question, find, one last question. And if I find ganja written on your chest, boss, I'm not coming to the birthday. Party. I'm telling you right now. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Uh, last question, uh, last question. Bolo. All right, last question. This one comes from Tarun Kaushik. He says, "My cousin has been a home baker for four four plus years. Gets good business outside, but she doesn't insist relatives to pay for cakes. How should freelancers extract money from close circles and relatives?" Hey, this is a Lokesh think, uh, answer yeah. for sure. Bolo, sir. Bolo. I think uh, you should not actually take money from close friends and relatives because you know you don't do everything for money. In fact, you should put your best, do your best experiment. Some cake you want to try, which you have not tried, which you have not got the order for. Bake that for them and make your take your work to another level. Do something different for them. It will be a practice for you and a you know gift for them. But yeah, I don't charge my friends and family also for tattoos. So I I don't think oh. everything. If if someone is doing something for passion, they will not, you know, of course, look for money first. Of course, also, when it's commercial, when it's in the studio, it's different. Yeah, it's 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 a good. What he's saying, I think, is very good because peace of mind uh, that you get. He you've decided in your head that friends and family, I don't take money from. That's it. So you don't have that dilemma. Yeah. What happens? A lot of people have the yeah. dilemma. I think of fifty percent off. Yeah, what should I do? Fifty percent. They just ask me. Ask me. Ask me. Yeah. Huh. Just end exactly. it, end it one way or the other. And yeah. yeah, so when I tattoo friends and family, I go crazy. I I do the pieces that I really want to do, or if they want something, I add my own thing to it, which which I really cannot do on other people because these clients, you know, they have this picture in their phone for six months, so they exactly want that. They don't want to, you know, go here and there. So, that, so. so Arun can do the same. Well, his cousin can do the same thing. What what you said, he basically he can experiment with the family. What what he would not. the order he the, that she will place with uh, the real clients with the family she can experiment so there is something in it for her also like you you're growing little bit when you do the that regular right? orders that you don't get or or a cake yeah or a cake that you have seen on the internet something new till now just do that for them but uh, still really that's not the hash brownies and all these bad things huh? uh, those cakes don't oh, okay. order online oh, okay. i'm warning you right Thanks. now beta Okay. I want to leave a good example for younger people. Uh, no, yes. brownie, ठीक है. Hash ठीक नहीं है. Ask only for okay. brownie, not hash brown. And not as a racial comment either. That's also bad. चलो. Lokesh, <laughs> okay. devil statues. Uh, one of the greats of our time. He's already uh, doing so well. He's got seven houses. Five to हाथ में आ गए. दो तीन years to wait for. Um, thank you for being on the show, sir. And let's hear more <laughs> more from you as and when the next festival happens. Thank, for thank, sure. thank you, Cyrus. Yeah, I hope to see you guys, both of you. And uh, if I'll ever be in Delhi, I'll try to catch up in Bombay. I'll try last to catch question. up with you guys. Or if you're in Delhi, hundred percent, hundred percent. Last question, boy. Yes. Uh, do we come under friends and silvery? And I come under the friends and family discount. Uh, the, <laughs> which which gang do we come under? Definitely, you, you, you are a friend He now. Froze. So please. The screen is internet. आवाज नहीं आ रही दिस इज व्हाट दिल्ली गाइस शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिल्ली गाइस शुड अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट मुंबई गाइस ओके द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिल्ली एंड मुंबई इज यू आर वेरी जेनरस एंड वी आर वेरी कंजूस यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ यू आर इफ यू आर फ्रेंड्स विद एनी गाय इन मुंबई एंड आई हैव लॉट ऑफ द दिल्ली फ्रेंड्स इट्स सो ऑपोजिट व्हेन यू गॉट विद द दिल्ली बॉयज एवरीबॉडी सेइंग आई विल पे आई विल पे आई विल पे एंड दे फाइट लिटरली एंड यू गॉट द बॉम्बे गाइस एवरीबॉडी एट द टाइम ऑफ द बिल वी आर ऑल फाइंडिंग थिंग्स टू डू बिल आ गया अरे मम्मी बोलो बोलो मैं मैं अभी नहीं पहुंच सकता हूं टाइम लगेगा एवरीबॉडी डिसअपीयर्स एट द बिल टाइम इट्स जस्ट कल्चरल इश्यूज है
<laughs> anyway, cheers, Lokesh. Yeah, Thanks for being here. Most welcome. Thank you, awesome. Cyrus. And it is an honor. I never thought in my life that I'll be sharing a screen with you. So honestly, you know, you you were a big idol at that time and a big thing like Amitabh Bachchan of my generation, wow. fourteen year old. So I have to record this program. <laughs> <laughs> so so really honored to have drinking. this conversation. He doesn't even drink. Can you believe it? <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you so much for kind words, Lokesh, and we will be in touch. Thank you. But now I have to my go pleasure, and touch. Some, I have to touch something else. Bye bye. <laughs> no no no. Bye bye. Bye.